Friends, welcome back. It's Big Dino Place Kingdom Death. We're on to Lantern Year 18. We're facing off against Atnas at level two. This is our third consecutive year of a Nemesis encounter, which has been quite novel. Kalenian Butcher followed by Black Knight, followed by Atnas. We have a few years after this where we can, uh, where we can hunt, build up some resources and prepare for the end game. We're in the end game now. Not yet, soon. Atnas, fought this big fat Santa Claus a couple of times now. I think my preference for the node that Atnas sits in, which is the same node as the Kingsman, uh, goes Atnas, Slenderman, Kingsman. Uh, Atnas is just fun. He's just fun to play against. Um, he's usually pretty straightforward. He doesn't hurt you too much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't usually worry about setting up those, uh, those stone columns, even though I probably should. I just, I find stone columns. Let me talk about stone columns, right? But let's go over and we'll put them out. I just, I find the stone columns to have a negligible impact on the game. Now, I'm just not sure if that's me being very bad at the game or if it's, me not being bad at the game and uh, and me just prioritising movement and space over things. I'm not sure. All I know is that it's very rare for me to feel like those columns have any impact whatsoever. So I call them inconsequential, irrelevant stone columns. To go back to here, uh, we have two stone columns. We don't have any other things. We go in the blue spaces. Atmos goes first. That's fun. Uh, all the monsters mood cards are in the deck. Blah, 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 blah. Here's what we're looking for. We're trying to get three to six and get some iron. Isn't it ironic? Here's our survivors. Hong, who has a partner. And that partner is Ray Skywalker. Hong's wearing a mixed set, so I don't know that this mixed set is any good. The only reason I'm risking it is because Hong has watched, so he gets extra buff. It's also uh, apparent to me that clothes and satiated should be in every campaign, and I really should make that change, but I haven't yet, so I won't. Uh, regen suit, Frog dog sleeves, frog dog boots, frog dog vest, and the Earl tassets and the Earl jaw guard, which was the only two that I could afford to make. Um, we'll see how that goes. It's it's fine. I don't really think it's great. Junie's coming out for this fight. She's got lead up. She's got feet and blow, and uh, she's got blood paint and a round leather shield. So she's just going to try and uh, block and then fist and tooth like crazy. Um, See, so yeah, that'll be fun. Now, Lily has the Twilight Sword. We really need to get her proficiency points leveled up. Unfortunately, I timed it pretty poorly with the Twilight Sword, given that Watch is coming up soon. So we really need to get a few points of Twilight Sword. And then finally, Ray Skywalker is rocking our Lantern Glaive. Sorry, our Scrap Sword. Who's got the Lantern Glaive? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, the Earl Set. Uh, yes, so Scrap Sword and is our sword uh, specialist. So, and she's also got this one, which is the Queen. The start of your act, you may forfeit your thing. If you do, all other survivors gain plus one speed till the end of the round. So we're actually going to leverage that and try and use uh, that. We're, and we're also bringing our, our scout. So, okay. I feel okay. I feel okay against Atnas. So let's uh, depart. And let's set up for the showdown. So Junie, we don't want her to get hit. We'll just apply a rival bonus as well, Rabbit. Uh, yeah, Ray, I didn't set up her partnership thing, but she's max survival on arrival. And Hong should be the same. Yeah, great. Uh, so the person we want to take most of our hits is probably, uh, probably her. She has deflect.
Okay, deflect, deflecto. Actually, there, great. All right, I feel like we're good. Uh, let's just go over here. So we're gonna shuffle this bad boy. Curb stomp, the end of the monster's turn. If there are any knockdown survivors, Atmos titters and leaps into the air. Target a random survivor. Target suffers seven damage to the head. This results in a severe injury. Perform spark of joy. So we can't afford to have anyone knocked down at the end of the monster's turn. Fortunately, there is a flow, so we can stand up in the middle of it. So we can encourage, hey -ya. All right, the showdown begins. Atness, or fatness if you prefer. Mini mucus javelin, what does that say? Atnus blows its nose into its hand before holding a generous wad of mucus aloft. Noble appendages freeze the mucus with their breath. Closest survivor in range. Speed seven? What the heck? Oh no, range seven, speed one. Oh, I was just about to lose the plot then. <laughs> okay, so the target is uh, closest survivor in range, so we will have that be Ray Skywalker. Ray has a block, so she'll spend a survival to surge and block. She puts up her block. Uh, so Atmos at this level is plus one speed, plus one damage, and no other tokens. So I'll just put that there. So two speed, hitting on a two plus, which goes to four plus. So that is a one and a lantern 10. So we will block with the lantern 10. So there is no after damage effects triggered from the mini mucus javelin. All right. So. What to do? Uh, oh, at the start of its turn, we're also supposed to give out a card, aren't we? Is that right? Curb stomp, Mad Master. At the start of its turn, deal swordcraft card, face down to its survivor. It's going to go to the person who has deflect. Great. Okay. So, probably Scout just wants to run away. We don't need to do any scout damage. What toughness is this guy? 14. Jeepers. Let's just get in there with fist and tooth. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to use blood paint. Which allows us to activate their... Does anyone have honourable? Did I bring anyone with honourable? I don't think so. Uh, great. So we're going to put up the block. Boom. And then we will also swing with, oh, do we do the speed thing? No, not this turn. Not this turn. The block's gone too, by the way. Uh, accuracy three. Get this up here. Junie. Accuracy three. So seven and seven. Two hits. Hit. Hit. There's two failure reactions. I don't know what we're critting on. Does it matter which one of these? Failure. You are knocked out. Knocked down and must skip the next hunt to recover. Oh. That's bad. This one's a minus one evasion token. All right, we'll do that one. Jeez, uh, Louise. What is he? Toughness 14. So a five is still a wound with our fist and tooth, but it's not a critical. So Atmos suffers a wound. And this one, that is a critical, thank you. Draw another hit location and gain plus two strength for the end, 
Yes. Oh. And we'll do Faded Blow. Faded Blow! Faded Blow! So we wound. However, Atmos is going to whack us in the head for two damage. One, two. Ah, do we block? No, we block that. Yes, nice. The round leather shield. How good is it? And then he moves two spaces away from us and is knocked down. Boop, boop. Knocked down. Uh, that was a devastating attack. Thanks to Fated Blow. Good, good, good. Uh, so reactions are cancelled. Who do we go with? Let's do the Twilight Sword. They're no longer cumbersome, so we'll swing with the Twilight Sword, hitting on a 3+. plus. That's a 3. This reaction is ignored. Uh, so strength 11. Yep. Oh, that's a miss. You boofhead. Why did you miss? Is there anything I've missed in your stats? Just two strength. Damn. All right. Uh, we'll surge. Oh, that's a stance punked. Atmos stands and faces the attacker. Yeah, we'll still do it so we can get the wound. Someone's got to do it. Hits. It's minus four toughness. So that's a two, which is a wound. So, wound earned for Lily. Stance punked, perform limbic stimulation. Shuffle the wound stack and then reveal cards until you reveal a mood card. So, I'm just going to keep the mood cards separate and shuffle them. So, he's no longer knocked down. He's got Yearning for Vanity. While this is in play, Atnus has plus two evasion. Okay. Problematic. Uh, what's on top? His trap. That sucks. All survivors are doomed. Perform Spark of Joy. Spark of Joy. All right, so we know what that one is. So I think we're going to try and proc this with our um, person. That's helpful, Deno. <laughs> yeah. So one, two, three, four, five to there. Going to swing with the Scrap Sword. So this is Ray. Let me just do each of their things. So Ray's going now. She's gone. So Scrap Sword. Hey, it hits. So all survivors are doomed. If there are no Swordcraft cards in play, perform Spark of Joy. So all that happens... Because uh, there are Swordcraft cards in play, is we trigger this Swordcraft card. Which is a Synchronic Attack. It's just going to hit him. Because of how everything is positioned. I think... Oh, suffer the torn muscle severe injury. I don't like that at all. Uh, we deflect one, so three is a miss and eight is deflected. No damage. So, uh, Spark of Joy is complete. So, discard that. Done. Uh, 
Hong. One, two, three, four, five. So Hong can get into range. So Hong will do that and swing with the Lantern Glaive, hitting on fives. It's a five and a six. Oh, there is a reflex. I don't enjoy that. Uh, that one fails, so we don't perform limbic stimulation. And this one does wound. So we have the jaunty zone. Oh, that one was first strike. Oh, they're both first struck. Okay, so that was fine. Uh, so we deal a wound, but everyone in that jaunty zone suffers two hits for three damage. So uh, we have Ray, Boots and Waste, one, two, three, one, two, three. Suffers Bash. Oh dear, that's pretty bad actually, isn't it? Because, oh no, it's the end of our turn. We'll stand up in his turn. That's fine. Um, Hongers. Boots and body. And he's got knocked down as well. And Chicken Green, whatever her name is. She's immune to bash. Three to the body the boots. We could dodge those, but we're fine. What do we got on top? Another stance punked. Don't need to get a dagger wound just yet. Um... I'm just going to make some very quick changes because I'm a doofus. I needed this to be triggered. One, two, three. Everything else is still fine. Um, so we can encourage all knockdown survivors, which we will now do. And encourage all knockdown survivors. One, two. So we will swing with the uh, Lantern Glaive again. One hit. Stance punked. Does a wound. Perform limbic stimulation. Yearning for surprise. Tax made from the monster's blind spot. Gain plus two luck. All right, so. That is it. That's the end of our turn. So the monster draws. It's legendary card. Oh no. All non-deaf survivors suffer three brain damage. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ray's going to suffer a brain trauma. One, two, three. That was four. So Ray rolls a nine, which goes to 11. Maniacal Laughter, you are knocked down, gain a minus one speed token, the priority target token, and 1d5 insanity. Uh, so, three insanity, minus one speed token, and the priority target token. Okay. Problematic. While this card is in play, Atmos has three damage. Okay, so we will spend a survival with Hong to stand up Ray so that he doesn't jump on her head with thingy. Uh, she's also getting a Swordcraft card too. Westwood Slash, nice. Okay, so there is plus three toughness. Which means he's toughness 17, thanks to the psychotic break. So 
And we have to clear that off. Our most likely person. So if we have a look here, Westwood Slash. All right, here's how we're gonna play this. Ray is going to sacrifice her thing to give everyone plus one speed. And she's then going to move and block into this position here. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two. Like this. Good work, Demo. Like that. <laughs> so then, one, two, three, four, five. We're in the blind spot with Junie. She's also surged. So Junie now has three speed, so she's going to swing with fist and tooth. She rolls three hits. One, two, three. Uh, we are plus two luck. Uh, which means we're critting on sixes. Uh, sorry, we should check which one we want to do. Perform Spark of Joy. Wound, maimed jellyfish. Yeah, so this one's got a reflex, which is unless, you, if, unless you're wearing fur or heavy armor, suffer bash. So we're not wearing fur or heavy armor. So that one has to be last. This one is gain a face down swordcraft card and end your attack. This one is perform spark of joy. So we'll do that one. Noble jellyfish. We do gain a wound. Because we're a million thingy. <laughs> but we now perform spark of joy. Uh, what is spark of joy you say, Deno? Well, that's where we do this. Do the swordcraft cards. So... Um, nobody's in that, so it's just targeting the person who can put up Deflect. So we'll put up Deflect. Six and a four. Uh, can you have Block and Deflect up? I can't remember. She can dodge anyway, so there's nothing else happening. Um, that's it. Because we did a wound... No, we didn't critically wound. Alright, this one... That's a critical wound. So Atmos goes cross-eyed and leaps in the air. Place it knocked down in the center of the showdown board. Unless the trap is drawn, Atmos will not stand for any reason. Boop. So there's no reflex now anymore on this one, but it's a critical anyway. So we critical and we clear that yearning for surprise off. Gains a minus one accuracy token, but he can't stand for any reason, which is good. Do we pile on again? So, Lily has the Twilight Sword proficiency. Juni doesn't need proficiency. Hongers, just swing him with the axe. Yep. So Hong will go. He's actually three speed now because of the axe. Chick. Two hits. Uh, that one would normally uh, cause us to fail. However, we do not because of our polishing lantern. Uh, lantern glaive seven. Fourteen. So that's a wound. This knobbly knees, uh, 12, that's a wound. Love the wisdom potion. We'll swing again with hongers using a surge. Uh, three hits, one. Trap. 
All survivors are doomed. Okay, well, I don't like this at all. Perform Spark of Joy. If there are no Swordcraft cards in play, gain two Swordcraft cards. Boo. All right, so Hongas gets two Swordcraft cards. Who we got? Yeah, we've still got our Twilight Sword chick. Unless the trap is drawn, it says. Um, all right, two on Hong. Well, as long as Hong doesn't die, he's got the regen suit, so he's okay, maybe. The first one, whoa. It's going to hit no one else. Synchronic attack. That's so cool. Rising snowflake. I feel like there's one that says if you've got rising snowflake, you kill him or something. Two speed, four evasion, one hit, four damage to the boots, one, two, Hong rolls a three, which is bleeding, one, two, and the survivors are knocked into the air, they land knocked down in Atmos's blind spot, or the closest unoccupied spaces, boing. Uh, North knockback 10, that's also going to get no one. Very good. We're doomed, so we can't do anything about that. Speed 3, oh, sorry, damage 4. That's to the head. 1, 2, 3, 4. North knockback 10, he's all the way up there. Trap over. Lily is not going to bother spending a survival. She's just going to walk to here. Swing with the Twilight Sword. She hits. Oh, it's a parry location. Actually, we won't do her. Uh, we'll dash and surge with Junie. Oh, she's got the Rawhide set. Let's see if she gets those back. She gets one of them back. So she's now in the rear. She's going to swing. Fist and tooth. Hits twice. One. Two. Uh, so that one fails. We're both knocked down. Okay, Atmos. Thanks, buddy. on top. Uh, now we'll do the Twilight Sword. It's a perfect hit. Uh, that's a wound. We ignore that reaction. One. What is on top? Another one. Yep. So we'll surge with Lily. Swing again. Hits on a three. Wounds on a seven. Nobby Knuckles. That's the end of our turn. So at the start of the monster's turn, we'll stand up thanks to Fist and Tooth Mastery. We still have the priority target token here. What do we draw? Freezing Cane Club. So we know who it is. It's going to turn. It's going to go here. It's going to swing one, two, three, four, hitting on a, we really need to get some evasion on our Skywalker, hitting on fights. Three hits, we do not have a block up. Uh, we can put a block up, but it's fine. Body, body, hand. These are five damage each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we will dodge the other body. Uh, suffer bash, knock back six. Uh, someone will spend a survival to stand them up. It will be Junie because she can get it back. She does not. So that prevents the curb stomp. 
three wounds left. Most likely is probably the fist and tooth maestro. So we'll just do that. Uh, we'll actually do Ray. She'll spend a survival to surge. She'll move to here. She'll put up her block and she'll sacrifice her thing to give everyone plus one speed. Swing with fist and tooth. We get to do that in the rear. So that's only one hit. There is a failure reaction, but. Uh, so for one hit for two damage to the head. Oh, it's, sorry, she's got block up, so she doesn't again, because she's got blood paint. Atnes moves two spaces away from you and is knocked down. One, two. Come on, Atnes. Don't be like this. We'll move into him. And we'll swing again. This time, with fist and two hitting on threes. Two hits, there's a first strike, and a first strike. Minus four toughness to wound these locations. That's a wound. And the other one, that's a wound. So it's two wounds down, but there's two limbic stimulations to go. So the limbic stimulation, we've got, we're just gonna do one wound. We're putting two moods into play. The first one is yearning for mystery. When does he do that? The start of his turn. Yeah, fine. Okay, after Atmos performs limbic stimulation, performs spark of joy. So he's performed limbic stimulation. So he performs spark of joy, which means he does this swordcraft card. And that's discarded. And then, this is also discarded. Uh, we're probably fine here because we've got our block up and we can deflect. It's blocked or deflected. Take your preference. What is on top of the deck? Don't be the trap. It's not the trap. We'll swing with the Twilight Sword. We roll a one. We'll swing again with the Twilight Sword. Don't. Don't do this, Deno. You just need one wound, buddy. Three's a miss. <laughs> All right. We'll bring in the Scout. This is a bad plan. The Scout's going to be rolling four hits. Try and get that dagger proficiency. Come on, Scout. Miss. Three hits. One. Two. Three, okay. Um, we strength five. So we need a five to wound. Yep. That's a four. Uh, so we fail, unfortunately. Which means we're knocked down. And that's it. Oh, actually. Yes, I'm going to get to do it. <laughs> dagger specialist. When attacking the dagger from wound attempt uh, after performing any reactions. Damn. All right, we're knocked down. I'm going to have to surge with this dagger chick. If this dagger chick gets trapped again, it's going to be bullshit. Oh, good. Only one hit. That is awesome, Deno. Can roll some shit. Don't. <laughs> Spark of joy. Nothing happens. That's the end of our turn. Everyone's gone. I could actually do this. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Dash, this is three speed because of our speed buff. Two hits, one, two, there we go. Ah, oh. so we'll do that one first. Come on, Deno, 
Come on, mate. You just need to do one wound. Stop being a peanut. Thank you. Is it a critical? No. It's not. <laughs> All right, Atmos, you buffhead. Get out of here. Get out of here, you doofus. Uh, we get sword proficiency levels. Um, I don't know if I actually did a swing with uh, with Ray, which is a real shame. All right, manage the party to complete the showdown. One hunt XP. Marie Anne achieves age three. It is one. Plus, great. All right, let's see if we can roll a three to six. Come on, this could be a lifetime reroll. Oh, isn't it ironic? One, two, three. Thank you. Three irons, delightful. We have storytelling. That's all fine. Feels good, man. Feels good. Two of these. I'd like to see one of our new ones. That'd be cool. Got a few new ones in there. Uh, which pile? This pile. Let's split that pile in half. And see which ones we get. On the left pile, we count down three. On the right pile, we count down three. One, two, three. And on this one, one, two, three. What do we get? Hiya! Heat wave and skull eater. Okay, so we. It's a shame we don't have Marrowism because skull eater is awesome! Uh, we already have a marrow eater, a marrow hunger, so we have to nominate that survivor. Heat wave, I don't think we have anyone with heavy gear other than the scout. So, we're fine on that front. Breathing in the fumes. Mm. Uh, I will do heat wave. There's no real negatives. Uh, so someone got age three. I don't know who that was. Marie Ann. An 18. An 18, you reckon? Draw two random fighting arts in game one. So we're going to gain three fighting arts. Which means we're going to be able to replace lure epilepsy, which is great. Ooh, buckle blood breathing. Let's use that one because we've got to fight the Black Knight again soon. Cool. How many endeavors? Eight. All right. We haven't got a lot of basic resources left, so we do have a hide, we do have an organ, so we just need a bone. Gorm, handed skull, we're probably not going to go for a level 3 Gorm and get the Gormite, maybe. And hold on to that. That's just hides and organs. Screaming antelope, we're keeping the beast steak. I uh, don't know if we need a perfect bone for anything. So, yeah, we'll give up the perfect bone. And one endeavor for our innovation. Let's do it over here. All right. Pottery. Probably going to take pottery. Scarification, shrine, face painting. 
don't really feel like we need resource people. Shrine is always good. Pottery. Let's just get the uh, thing. Pottery. Fun. Now, if we, well, we added sculpture and forgot to put it in, we added pottery, great. We haven't chosen our inspirational statue yet, by the way, which could be, I've been, I've been trying to toss up what, what fighting art to put on there. And I was thinking it might be interesting to do something like leader. Because as you'll see, the count set or the earl set does things for it benefits people. It, it could be awful, but hmm. uh, piercer. I mean, monster claw is always a solid option, but I don't think we've got any for the moment that we wanna that we wanna put up. So we'll continue onwards onwards our journey. Uh, Let's see what we can craft. I think we can't craft any more of our things because we just need to get uh, need a few more basics. So the Earl Sleeves, iron, leather, wiry crest. Yeah, we don't want to waste an iron on that. So we'll go scrap gathering. Earl Boots, iron, iron, bone, organ. So yeah, we, we just want to get some basic resources, I think before we go building any more of our Earl sets. Maybe we will go fight a Gorm so we can see if we can get an Acid Gland. We have one, two, three, four, five, four hunts before we have to face the Butcher again. Um, So what we might do, we can't nightmare train because of heat wave. How dumb's that? Pottery. Can't scrap smelt. Awful. Uh, the barber surgeon. How do we get the? How do we get the barber surgeon? I oh, know what we needed pottery for was to build the charms. So maybe we'll build a blue charm, which requires a perfect organ. Blue charm could be fun. Or green charm, actually. Green charm, maybe. Uh, we can't nightmare train, so no matchmaker. Uh, we might do the heat wave uh, ones. L, uh, which is... Over here. So we'll try and find fluid. Um, yep, so one. That's a six, so you may depart with heavy gear normally. So that's fine. Uh, that reminds me our scout Marie Anne cannot depart because she has heat stroke. And we'll try and one more, see if we can endeavour normally and find fluid. We can. So we spent two, we can endeavour normally. Uh, we'll go send someone out and scrap scavenge, go for a long walk. We roll a one, so spend a survival or die. We'll obviously do that with someone who's got survival. Califax, probably not the best option. Who's got, yeah, Latasha. She'll spend the survival. She'll go out again. She rolls a two, find nothing. She'll go again. Rolls a six, that's a scrap. And one more time, five, that's nothing. Yeah, so 
So she spent three survival, she gained one scrap. Good work, Latasha. So I think we can then craft the uh, other gear from the Earl set, which was the Earl sleeves. Iron, leather, wiry crest, scrap. Yep, we're happy with that. The Earl sleeves. Earl boots requires what? Two iron, a bone, and an organ. And the Earl raiment requires two iron and two leather. So we need two more iron. But we have very close to our Earl set, which is exciting. Uh, it's going to be something that we can generate some resources. Maybe we'll go for a level three Screaming Antelope. So I can pick up the sphere from the Screaming Antelope. And I'll contemplate making a blue or green charm while we're at it. That's going to be it for me today, friends. Catch you all in the next episode. Big Dano. Oh.